Christmas. He's on one point, so this is a very, very tight group. And that table's going to change, of course, with the lazowski Jared Gudon match, which is currently one each on table two. And with this match, Graham Dot and Ryan Day. Mm. Obviously, one of them has got to get to two points. Day's only played two matches, so he's in a slightly different position. He's won one, lost one. But Graham Dot, as we know, of course, won all six matches in Group 1. He's struggling, having won just one out of three. And if he loses this one, then he's in big trouble, I think. Well, will it be interesting here, I think, Stephen, to see how Graham goes on. It was a disappointing defeat. He looked like he was going to make it 2-2. But knowing him, that might just inspire him. We'll see. Yeah, I just caught the end of that frame upstairs and really unlucky, actually, when he was in that snooker to go behind the pink. But a few good safety shots and then obviously a, a nice little pinch from Joe who would be delighted with that one. But, yeah, I think Graham's the sort of character that that could probably spur him on more, if anything, so... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how he how he goes on here. Well, he's probably the good red. He's just come a little far on this brown, but still taking it on. Well, that'll do nicely. He's never been afraid to take his shots on. That's one thing about Dot. He's a, you know, we keep Fine. using the same words about him, but we use them for a reason. It's because they're true, feisty, determined, Six. gritty, all all of that. All words that mean the same thing apply to him. Yeah, that was a fantastic shot, pot in the brown, going into the reds and deserved to finish perfect on that red above the black to then flick the other red away. So straight perfect. away an early opportunity here and already he looks really determined to, to crack on with things. 14. Yeah, if he can win this match then, you know, he's in good shape. Two points because we've already seen that table. He's so tight. He's going to go down, I think, to the last set of matches tomorrow which didn't happen in the first group. Graham Dot dominated that, and we knew by actually tea time who was going to qualify. Again, aggressive here, getting into the more of the reds and just trying to kill the frame 22. off. With his first visit to the table. Can't ask for more than that. Thank you. Twenty eight. Cheers, thank you. Twenty nine. underscrewed the red there and finished wrong side of the blue so as you can see he's taking on the brown so another very aggressive shot which he's managed to get I think as well Graham will have picked up on Ryan's performances today he's look, he looked pretty good throughout the day made some nice breaks didn't expect to see too much safety during this game both very attacking players. Graham got 33. Yeah, it just wasn't ideal on the red, having, of course, taken the brown rather than the blue. So back in that seat, and uh, what looked like a good chance didn't, in the end, come to that much. I think you're right though, I think we're going to see an, uh, an attacking match. It's always uh, the best approach for Ryan Day, he had that wonderful 1-4-2 earlier, the highest break so far. By the way, Zhao Gudong has gone 2-1 up on Jack Lazowski on table 2.
Well, may well raise his hand. The double kiss has sent the white back down to bulk. That could have been calamitous, actually. Yeah, that's one way of getting the cue ball back to the safe area. Graham obviously felt forced into taking that long red on. Couldn't find a, a safety to get Ryan into any sort of trouble, so went for the pot and the result wasn't too bad. table there from Ryan, good shot from Graham, I think he's been forced into taking this long red on again. Red has just snuck past the pink far enough, I don't think Graham can get through to hit this Red full to make the pot. So again, quite fortunate. Yeah, and it is just luck, isn't it? Because the pace he played it at, balls running round, they could have finished anywhere. It's just gone just a little too far, it would seem. So a frame that looked like it might be over quite quickly in one visit, and this in the end developed into a bit of a battle. <laughs> Here's a question, Stephen. There's a player, all this apologising for luck and so on, does it make any difference to the other player to see that? <laughs> no, not at all. It's, uh, yeah, because 
you're not sorry, really. <laughs> it's just, uh, I think it's just sort of an etiquette thing, and obviously Six. something that's just been followed for for many years. But you know, all 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 the players are experienced enough to know that you get run and and then run goes against you. So it, it swings and roundabouts really. Cause you hold your hand up, but you're not really sorry. <laughs> Just seems to have just sort of landed in no man's land here. This way to the middle is not easy. Trying to get out for a colour as well. Graham got six. But we've seen how Dot's going to play this match. He's going to attack. It's just a question of whether he gets them, I think. And also, of course, what he leaves if when he misses. certainly open things up but again not not a straightforward opener for, for Graham here. Pink and black now in the open. So a bit of pressure on this opening red. That's a good shot. Yeah. I don't it's even think that was a kick. It's about that. Yeah, there's a, must be a slight line there. Like just slightly it's raised. There, it's there, if you feel. He knows it. Yeah, it's just on the slate line that wide. That's obviously just <laughs> gone over the. <laughs> gone over a little something under the cloth there. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I suppose if you if you sit here long enough, you'll see everything. You seem to take it quite well, considering. safety shot from Graham, the figure of eight safety, avoiding the the black on the way back to Bork. Puts Ryan in a little bit of trouble now. Ryan's got to find a gap between the reds here and then Avoid the middle pocket between pink and black. Is here much too thick. What's he left? been a 
fun frame for him so far, but not to say he won't get another chance. Seven. Eight. Well, the black will put him 62 in front, so he'll only need another red. And that snook is required. He's been very determined, I think, in this frame to attack. We saw it from the first shot. He knocked in that red. He looked good to potentially make a frame winning break. It didn't quite happen, but he's kept that same approach throughout the frame. And uh, he's a little bit like a wounded animal after that last match that he looked like he would draw level with Perry. Went round the back of the pink when he was snookered. Perry won the frame. Looks like Graham Dot might be in the mood to take it out on Ryan Day. Cheers, Graham. Thanks. 23. One thing's for sure, tomorrow's going to be very interesting when this group comes to the boil and all seven players are still in with a chance of the playoffs and therefore winning the group and getting into the winner's group later in the season. Graham Dot 38 he's on missed the that, but he's done the damage. So Graham Dot then in a feisty mood here in this last match of the day. He leads Ryan Day 1-0. One nil, Graham Dot against Ryan Day. This is the last match of day one of Group Two of the Bet Victor Championship League here at the Morningside Arena in Leicester. And as I said before the break, whatever happens here tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. Every match is going to count. And remember, all the frames count as well. After points won, it goes on frames won, then least frames lost, and it can go on a direct head tear between players.
Well, he's on the green here to the middle. And in the mood to attack, much like Graham Dot. I always think with Ryan Day, he's Five. one of those players, and there's a number of them. You know, it doesn't matter where he's ranked. I mean, he's 28 in the world for what it's worth, but you don't really think I'm playing the world number 28. You're playing a three-time ranking event winner who's a very heavy scorer on his day. Made his 400th century yesterday of his career. And he'll be looking to do some damage here. It seems to be that sort Five. of match. As I say, they're both going to go on the attack. Yeah, he's a class act, Ryan, and straight away leaving himself low on this red to... 13. Develop the pack as he has done there really nicely. So straight away a good opportunity for Ryan to make a sizable break and level this match up. He's already made a one full two in this group. That's the highest so far. And he's in line for the five hundred pound Christmas bonus for the high break. Twenty. Twenty one. Thirty-six. Yeah, standard of play, as you'd expect, has been mixed, but we've had nine centuries today. There's been some heavy hitting along seven. the way. Today's actually had two centuries. He made one against Lazowski as well as the one four two against Gary Wilson. Four two four. Yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me if he goes on to make a third century of the day here. He's, he's looked deadly in the balls, and he needs to spread quite nicely now for at least him to make a break big enough to clinch this frame. Forty-five. Fifty-three. Really nicely controlled cannon there from Ryan. Playing it soft enough to open the reds, and should he have not been on one from the pack, had that red to the middle as insurance. 59. Hit it perfect, and they open nice, and now this is a really good frame winning opportunity. Well, it's sort of break this, assuming he does win the frame from it. You know, you would show this in a sort of coaching class, wouldn't you? How to make a frame winning break. Yeah, there's a great art to break building. 64. As you've seen a few shots from Ryan there, using balls to open reds and always 65. thinking one or two shots ahead, sometimes even more and that's that's the best way to break build I believe, you know, get the red get reds open as early as possible. Then it becomes a practice set up scenario as we as we all do day in, day out. Seventy two. Seventy three. And uh, like so many 
of the best in the world. He's just made it look so easy as well. So a real quick frame this. Eight. Eighty-one. Moments of real quality and class from the Welshman. Eighty-nine. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. So, black for the century, what a wonderful break it's been so well controlled I feel like we need that that guy with the applause button that we had during the behind mm -hmm. closed doors mm -hmm. events he deserves something there yeah this has been a quality break from what Ryan done really well here to level this match up mm -hmm. Four. So, the colours for a total clearance of 135. 110. 113. Shavu Dong has beaten Jack Lazowski 3 2 on table 2. 170. That's their last match of the day. So this has been a wonderful break from shot one. Pink has stayed out, Ryan but 122, 122 that's some clock. effort from Ryan Day. No time at all. He levels up this match. It's game on, Graham Dot one, Ryan Day one. So it's one each, Ryan Day with that 122. Just missed the pink to be denied the total clearance, but terrific break it was. This is the last match on today here in the first day of Group 2 of the Championship League. Go. It's that sort of match. 
nothing turned down. Another cracking long red from Graham Dot. Yeah, he really does love to punch them in, Graham, as we have a look at that again. Really puts everything into those shots. But hasn't quite managed to avoid the cannon on the way back down on the yellow, and I think the blue ball is going to cover this red. All right, you can get through to it. Graham got six. So a really aggressive shot coming up for for Ryan here, going into the reds. Just lost the cue ball slightly. Ryan Day six. The thing is, in a match where they're both going on, going on the attack, the safety is really important. There might not be much of it, but what there is needs to be spot on because they're both looking for any way in they can find. See from the overhead, just chip the red out. Well. So again, Ryan back in at the table with another good opportunity. Eight. And if the last frame's anything to go by, Graham will probably be fearing the worst here. Sixteen. Seventeen. Made the plant, but didn't quite get through the pack enough to finish nicely on the black. He's got a shot at the black here, but very difficult. Quite thin, difficult to control the white. So Green that's why he's shutting up shot. Ryan Day seventeen. Safe on the green. Relief for Dot. Even if he finds himself on the back cushion, at least he comes back to the table. At least Ryan Day is broken down. Of course, both of these two have been here all week in this uh, competition, so it'll be day four tomorrow for them. Missed ran to the cushion, but there is one 
pops to the middle. Ooh. I think he felt he got it, but didn't drop. Yeah, it was very close. It did look in at one stage, but it stays out. As you see from the overhead there, the middle pocket's proving to be quite tight on the jaws. Oh, that's a bad miss from Graham. A lot of movement there on the shot. He was stretching slightly. Didn't expect him to miss that one. worked out nicely for Ryan, just holds his hand up but no real need to, he was always trying to screw back down that area of the table, obviously the flick has, has helped him, so back into a good position again, Six. with a 23 point and counting lead, the reds are spread Seven. really nicely. Looking good to go in front. And <laughs> the edge to this match is that they both are aware any sort of pot that's left is going to be taken on. Both looking confident. But Graham Dot really slipped up. He didn't seem quite right on that last 90. ready attempt. He was sort of stretching on it and that affected the way he played the shot. He wasn't expecting to miss Point. it for sure, but it looks like it cost him the frame. He's had uh, some real close matches. Dotty lost to Jack Dong in a decider, beat Jack Wazowski in a decider, and then looked to be heading to a decider with Joe Perry, but. Perry stole a 3-1 win, so he's played a lot of snooker today, Dot. But he's only got one point out of it so far. And it looks like he'll have to win the last two frames here to get a second point. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty-three. Forty-four. Whoever wins the match will go up uh, in the table. They'll be up on two points. At the moment we've got Joe Perry on three, Xiao Gudong and Lu Ning 51. each on two, and all the other players on one. So that's how close it is. Just two points between all seven players. And another really rapid break 58. from Ryan here. He's not, not messing about as he rattles the last Ryan red. 58 on the frame. Well, it was, uh, it was blink and you'll miss it stuff. It came from a Graham Dot error. Ryan Day with a bit between his teeth here. Quick fire, 58. He goes in front. One from victory at 2-1.
Graham Dot has just broken off here in frame four. He's trailing Ryan Day 2-1. So Day needs this frame. Dot needs the last two. <laughs> Another long red flies in, this time from the queue of Ryan Day. Seem to be in the mood to pot everything. Yeah, thunderous open in red there from Ryan from not far off the ball cushion, really well cued. Ryan Day one. Follows it up with a pretty good safety shot as well. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. Complete misjudgment. Graham looks about done in, in the background there, he's, at least he's got a comfy chair. Yeah, I mean, he played so well in the first group, won all his matches until the playoffs, when of course it really matters, and then he got beat in the semis. Sam. And you sort of, I'm, I'm said yesterday, it's a bit like snakes and ladders, you know, you climb to the top of the ladder, and then suddenly you're back to the bottom again, and that's where he was this morning. And he's not Thanks. quite reproduced that form in this group that he showed in the last one. Yeah, I suppose he's he's put a lot of intensity into the last group, you know, getting to the to the semis of it and then having to psychologically deal with the fact he's got to come back again today and obviously do it all again. It was always gonna be tough on him, as well as obviously the long days of, of playing itself. So it was always gonna be interesting to see how Graham played today and sixteen. He's not quite produced the snooker that he, he did on Monday and, and, and yesterday. But he can be forgiven for that. It's their long days playing. Meanwhile, Ryan looks good. Really good at the moment. Twenty found his rhythm and his tempo and he's he's not missing much at the moment. Twenty four. No, and if he can win it in style, then it sends him off to the hotel feeling good about things, ready for one last push tomorrow. Obviously, the main aim is to get in the playoffs, and then it's about trying to battle your way through those. 31. 32. Yeah, of course, was beaten by Liang Wenbo last night in the semi-finals of Group 1. Travelled a little far here for the for the blue, Ryan. But I think he's going to go into the pack of reds here. Get him open. Does do. And again, played it really, really well. Lovely controlled shot there. Thirty seven. Didn't hit it very hard. The pace of the white, just keeping it in the middle of the table. And now another really good opportunity for him. Thirty eight. Forty-four. Well, this is how anyone loves to play. Ideally, this is how you want to play every frame of every match. Not always, of course, that straightforward. But I think it was kind of decided almost, wasn't it, the way Graham Dot started? Okay, that's the sort of match it's going to be then. We're going to go for them. Who's going to get more of them? Well, Ryan Day has in this match. Fifty-two. Fifty-nine. 
But a late twist. Wow. Just needed red and black. Yeah, he was looking so good again there, and he's not really missed much. That's an unexpected miss. I don't think he intended to be as close to the side cushion as he was in the end, but... What? Oh, that's a great pop from Graham up top bag. So, could there be a final twist? Eight. He's got a red to the left corner here. Just pushing through the reds for the black again. Nine. He wriggles in. And now a really good chance to steal this frame and take us into a decider. What a lifeline to be thrown. He must have thought it was over. Sixteen. 17. And this uh, could be so important, well, will be so important for the group table for eventual placings tomorrow. If Ryan Day doesn't make the playoffs, then we'll look 24. back on this frame, I think. If he goes on to lose the match, that is. 25. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Seems to have sprung back to life, Graham. Looked down and out in his chair, but presented with this opportunity, and he, he looks really determined to take it. This could be a huge psychological blow for Ryan here. We never really expected him to miss that straight red. There was no real 40. pressure on the shot. No, well he was two balls away from winning the match. 41. And again, good thinking there from Graham, choosing to play on the pink, get it back on its own spot and out of the way. Make the clearance as easy as possible. 47. 49. Fifty-six. Sixty-one. He must have thought, watching from his chair, that the match had gone. An unexpected chance presented itself, and he's taken full advantage. 67. This black. And we're going to a decider. Seventy-four on the front. Well, typical Graham dot steal there. Ryan Day broke down. Mr. Red on fifty-nine. Graham Dot has stepped in with a wonderful clearance of 74. So one more frame then tonight. They're level at 2-2. Two -two.
it's been a very entertaining match this and this is the last frame Graham Dot and Ryan Day level at 2-2 Day looks certain to win 3-1 missed that ready I needed the black as well Graham Dot stepped in like a dog with a bone he was he made 74 great clearance typical tenacity from the Scot and well let's see what the decider has in store for us Graham Dot already lining this one up oh he was a long way away from it though <coughs> got away with it Shake of the head there from Ryan. Graham's had a really favourable flick there off the yellow, which meant he couldn't get through to the red on the far right of his screen. So just the safety shot. But not got the leg, so another chance for Graham at a long red. Slaps it straight into the pocket, so first chance to Graham Dot now. You see it so many times, Dave, you know, Ryan's missed virtually match Six. ball in the last frame and, and all of a sudden all the rubs and the flicks go against you. But that's a that's a big <laughs> 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 not six. A big miss from Graham. Yeah, uh, you can see what it means to the players as well. You you think, you know, here we are, it's nearly Christmas. This is one of the lower tier events, I suppose, on the calendar, but they're competitive what? beasts and he got himself back in the match winning that last frame with a great clearance. He was so annoyed there, the queue nearly snapped in half. He wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so can Ryan reprieve himself after that miss in the last? An unexpected chance. No. Looks so good in the balls really today and we'll be hoping for more of the same here. Twenty one. Twenty one. 
Well, as in the last frame, it's in his hands. In the last frame, he looked to certainty, but the pressure's come on. We've seen that already in this decider. Could be a big frame in terms of the overall group placings and what they have to do, these two. 28. Tomorrow, Ryan Day's got three matches to play. Graham Dot only two. So if Dot loses this frame 29. of match, then he's in a bit of trouble. Thirty-seven. There's just a little concern there, Ryan, about the contact on the red. He, he finished a little bit low on that, but it's not finished too bad. He might be slightly hampered by the red next to his cue, but this shouldn't be a problem. In goes the black. So now the reds really are spread nice in a 31-point lead already. Forty-four. He won't need any of the safe reds, so he just needs to yeah. mind his work here and try and get the job done here. He doesn't want to make any unforced errors like the previous frame. He's just slightly awkward queuing here. He doesn't want this at this stage. He wants things to be as straightforward as possible. And it's caused him to miss the black. Ryan so Day 45. Ryan Day again has made the running, but again it's out of his hands. Yeah, another bad miss really. He was he was unlucky to finish hampered really. He had to play the previous red with the rest uh, the spider, sorry, but as you see there, Graham straight away promoting the red off the side rail. A good shot, obviously he's gonna need the safe red, so Eight. there's another example of always thinking ahead. He's faced with a tricky red into the middle here. Just took his eye off it again. Never easy Grand into the eight. middle. A few signs of frustration out there from both players at the minute. Yeah, it's starting now to feel like a decider. It's been a free-flowing match this, but now it's all up for grabs in this frame. looking at this red along the ball rail looks a lot more difficult than the red down the end of the table here so a tricky pot and yeah I didn't, I didn't really like that shot particularly at this stage of the match it looks a lot more difficult than the red down this end of the table and he could have had a, a much more positive strike on the white playing one of the reds down here Some of the reaction shots of Graham Dot next to that Christmas tree, they don't quite go together, the images. <laughs> Not particularly festive. And, well, you need something to go pretty spectacularly wrong now to get back to the Eight. table. 
probably not something you want on the front of your Christmas card. <laughs> no. Well, maybe to somebody you don't like. Merry Christmas from the Championship League. <laughs> Dot's not out of it yet because even if he loses this match, it's a very tight group. He could still get to three points tomorrow. That could be enough. Depends on other results. But the thing is, you don't want to be depending on other results. In the last group, he did it all on day one. He won all four matches. So this black, and he's 53 ahead with 51 on. And in fact, Graham Dot has come forward to concede. So, right well, now. a dramatic final match of the day. It was high Graham, quality. There was drama as well, mistakes all added to the intrigue. Ryan Day happy to be the winner. In the last match, he defeats Graham Dot by three frames to two. So that concludes the day's entertainment here in Leicester. And uh, well, it's all set up nicely for tomorrow because it's such a close group. There it is. It's only two points between the seven.